Mala Walele Tolofala, a ball of an Aka Kiorana Kiorka to Katona. Hoki Mai, welcome back to Poka Kohe for finals day here at the Pacifica Youth Cup. And looking forward to this final, the championship final. And the men's side of the draw, Tonga Development against Fiji, two sides who, across the course of the last five days, have played some attractive rugby league. Difficult conditions, as you've seen here at Navigation Home Stadium. The rain, well, for the time being at least, seems to have stopped. Was heavy there for a time, and uh, will make it difficult for some running footy here. But you can be sure that these two sides will be throwing the ball around plenty. From a Kiwi Samoa International, from a Wakefield Trinity coach, Willie Poaching, with me, Jeff McTain, from commentary. Willie, as I said, they've played some attractive code. Fiji Tonga development, some fantastic players, but this will be difficult in uh, the white hot atmosphere of, of the final as well. 100% changes the mindset. We'll see if there's a change in approach for both teams. As you say, both teams have been willing to throw the ball around. The Fijians in particular have shown the flair that they're known for to move the ball around and broken down the sides that they've come up against. These two teams met each other yesterday in a tough battle. And no doubt both teams will be up for this. Any final is a big occasion. And this one is uh, no different. And as long as the rain holds off, as you said, we've had some torrential rain here at moments during the day, the ground will be a little bit slippery. I don't think it will stop their approach to move the ball. That is what it is all about. The pride, the passion, the culture on display here at Navigation Home Stadium. Thomas Sipitol, Fiji Stimbi. And we are set for this championship final. Jack Fevers to officiate here at Urukete. And Ovalet, the assistants. 
we take a look at this Tonga development side. Keep an eye on Bayer and Hansen to run the show out of the halves today. And Amanaki Palu has been dangerous during the tournament, running from the back. Some big ball carriers too. The key really for Fiji over the course of the week has been the man in the number seven jersey, their captain, Tanela Maiseri, and alongside Golfa. We look to be the key combination for the Fijians here. We'll be poaching this afternoon and uh, glad to see the rain has stopped. Allow these boys to put on some running rugby league. For sure, beautiful crowd has turned up in the full voice yesterday for this same game. And no doubt that'll be the, th be the same. They'll have turned up to see a show and I know these guys will want to put one on for them. Not the challenges were anything to go by. We are set for an absolute belter here. Yala, my city. It's this championship final. Pacifica Youth Cup for 2024 underway. There's uh, Tonga trying to free the ball away. So Polono and uh, just the early error. Perhaps Willie really just should have taken the carry, settled things down. Yeah, Ambrose Polono with the with the carry from the back fence off the kickoff. I'm not sure whether this was a plan to try and throw a spanner in the works against the Fijian defence, but early doors wet. Not the play for them, needed to take the tackle. An early error from Tonga and put themselves under the immense pressure already in the game. Aquila Matofa to feed Fiji scrum here. Excellent field position to get their first set going. My city. So dangerous. He offloads the ball here for here's an opportunity to strike early. Fiji just tried to pass it away. Out wide, Tene Bua. Out breaks down for them, and the rain is back. You can see with a vengeance. So, ball control here early. Going to be so critical. You can see how dangerous already my city is going to be. His running threat. He's got that little offload pop pass. Real late creates the overlap. Unfortunately for Fiji, Vinny Tebua out to the winger. Lasanga couldn't take the ball. An error there early. Couldn't make the most of the early advantage of getting the ball back off the kickoff. Tonga to try and straighten up their attack now with this this raid and this chance with possession. Rafita passing away and perhaps looking to keep this a bit tighter. No, the foot goes down. Fakuho. Good pace and try to burn them on the outside. He's down just short of the 40. So some real intent with the way they want to play this game Tonga development as a carry Rose Solomon Vaka for Tonga just over the halfway line uh, bouncing back for Mui the second rower it's a better set just warming into their work here on final state, brushing past the first tackle. D'Angelo Michaeli. And he's down on the 40 inside Fiji's territory. A little deeper this time. The kick will come from Tyson Hansen. Difficult one to take and well done in the end, but he's shown the far touch. So some good hustle and pressure by Tonga. And they've shown some intention to play down that left-hand side. They tried to do it straight off the kickoff. With Puluno, he came up with the air out. And then Fakauho made the break, got a dent, whether that's part of their plan or that's how it's panned out. But a great kick from Hansen to put it right in the field of play and then throw Sarawelu into the touchline from defending their own goal line. They get to attack the opposition's line now. Certainly afternoon for the pack to play their game and they try and bust their way through, they will. Solomon Avaka for Tonga. Scores the first try of this championship final. And every team's tried this play over and over again throughout the tournament. Just this crash ball straight off the rock. And when they have done, they've been really, really high and easy to tackle for the defenders. 
the three occasions it's happened today and for Tonga, Solomon Evaka does a great job just getting low, getting real low and hard to tackle. Almost impossible to get between the ball and the ground. And after a great kick by Hansen and a chase from Tonga to force the receivers from Fiji into touch, taking possession, first blood to Tonga. You mentioned the kick, Tyson Hansen. He knew that if they could put some pressure on, which they did, that'd be difficult for Seruwalu out there, led to possession. And the big boys just rolled up their sleeves. And Solomon Avaka gets Tonga on the board first here. After the error off the kickoff for Tonga, it was most important that they got to that kick. In whatever fashion was just to finish the set on the kick. The bonus was the pinpoint accuracy of it and the pressure they put on the catcher. There was no chance that he could let it go. He had to make a play at it. Sirawalu, the winger for Fiji. And almost instantaneously, as he caught the ball, the defenders were on top of him and put him into touch. Conversion, Stephen Moala. A couple of early areas, but it's Tonga who strike first. And so this man, Waka. My city. There he is again. There's more plays. There's such a handful. So hard to bring down, but they eventually do. A 28 metres out from Tonga's line here. This is uh, Aza Fumui. So not playing too flash at the moment. Keeping it simple here. Tonga, the Poluno. This time gets his offload away. He was looking for. Now Hansen. Desperate defense on him. Zero Walu. And eventually he is brought down. Just shy of the half. Out of dummy half now. Some space for Tonga to work with. Stephen Moala. And you want your defensive line to be eager and, and to be up in the face, but it's got to be together. It's got to be a collective effort. You can't have broken lines and present people like Hansen those opportunities to play through. Last tackle as Hansen spies a wee bit of space in behind. The bounce will be interesting. And away to Poppy the Goat's corner it goes. But some, you can see the plan as yeah. last set just turn them around and try and force the mistake. And they're keeping really busy down their left-hand side of the attack. Tonga. And it's two kicks to Tyson Hansen down that side. Plenty of running down that area. Unfortunately for Tonga, the ball didn't go dead. Thani Valu plays away. Really haven't had much ball to work with in the opening seven minutes, have they? Fiji just on their own 20 here. Otofa. Has driven back. Good defense early in the set here, Tonga. Good crowd in here today, despite the weather as well. Finals day, as you'd expect, as my city. Nothing really doing with the kick down the center of navigation homes, but Tonga look to return. Good defense. Yeah, and Fiji punished. Punished by the hunger of the defense from Tonga and forcing my city to kick from inside the 20 meter area and now Tonga already deep into the half and getting this setting themselves up for a strong attacking raid and looking to post some more points Fafita looking for his options once more little inside pass this time Vaka just can't hold on and I'll have to live off these moments Fiji this afternoon some good carries by the Tongan front rowers. And I like the play. It forces support on your inside. And if there's any uh, defenders napping, you take advantage of it just with a quick ball. Unfortunately for Tonga, Vaka couldn't take the ball in. And they can't make the most of this position. Masidi will have to think about how he's going to try and construct the set and get a better kick away. So they're not playing down this end of the field for too much longer. Luwalu plays it away and Fiji just going to try and settle into their work here. Troy Sande, he's been very, very good this week. A 
I've liked how the centres have contra um, really complemented each other for Fiji. You've got Sande, who's a real attacking threat, and Vinny Tabua, who's got a big shot and a real strong defender on the other side. Tani Valu again pops it away. Lenny Kasakasa on the 24 jersey. Now, my city has chips a wee kick, little short iron jab over to the left wing. The flag is up. A good effort by uh, Kelly Sanger. Rai Smile. And a smart kick. I could, you can see what he was trying to do, my city. If he can just pull it in field a metre or so. Lasanga might have been able to rebalance himself, but as he was trying to fly and catch it mid out, out on the full, Tonga can breathe a sigh of relief. But you can just see Fiji slowly, slowly but surely building their way in. Good drive back, I will say, and uh, Beleni Kasakasa. Good metres downfield. Ball is with Tangelo Michele. He's trying to brush Lena Kasakasa off of him as they come again. Tonga, some real sting in the carry. Sione Olika looking for pace again off the ruck. The kick will come this time from Bayer. And good take from the fullback. Sione Hifo is trying to put the skates on and get around them. Have to be careful there. Doesn't get driven back. He's done well. 100% he had to be careful. His only slight, and he had some big defenders chasing him and almost pushing him back. He can back his pace all he wants, but once he makes contact, he's got to get himself down. So a test for Daniela Maiseri and this Fiji inside, having to play a lot of rugby league deep inside of their half. And these conditions too, a real test of their skill set. Tonga have done well as direct carries. There's a good one, though, for Fiji. And Solo, Melene Kasakasa. Deeper this time for Maiseri. This is the last, and it's been put down, Sande. Right there, they'll play an advantage. And that's all we were asking for. That's what the crowd have come to see. Fiji moving the ball. Maiseri seeing Sande. And Sande just... Swinging too high. Sander had he caught the ball, had a lot of space in front of him. And his wing partner, who's a flyer, and Sede Walu on the outside. And couldn't take it in. The scheme and the plan is right for Fiji. They're playing to their strengths. Just impressed, Willie, with the way. They're approaching these conditions. Tonga, they've got a plan that's there to move, they will. But otherwise, that's, that's the order of the day. Keep it as tight as they can. Lure in defenders. Another carry. Ambrose Polono. He's going to try and barge his way through. Aggressive carry. Tonga will be hard to stop here for the time being. Michele. Fiji say not getting through this time. Afita. A good brave defence front on on the big man. Still moving though. Oleka. Inside of the 10. Tonga. And looking for a second try to start this championship. Final hands and they will score surely. No. They're claiming the try. Through Lazarus Ngata. You just see he puts the ball down short, I think. And the referee hasn't given the try. Looked like he put it down too short of the line and then lost position. But I agree with what you're saying. Tonga playing really well and playing smart in the conditions, keeping it simple, playing up the field, getting themselves into a position where they can really threaten and then play on the back of some graft. And this is why they're playing most of the game down here. Also close. 
for Lazarus Nata to score the second. If he just took a step back, Nata, and hit the ball at pace, he may have had some momentum to get there, but because he was flat with the receiver, with the passer of the ball, he had to run off a for flat start, didn't get quite going. I see he this time just decides to take them on himself. Got a deft touch, doesn't take much to glide through a gap. Taniela My City. Defense over there as Sande puts a big fend on. Well structured, their Lion Tonga. This is better from Fiji. Starting to hit the set. Build up as they move toward halfway. Good low take. Hingamoto. Here comes the kick. Chase is coming through. How is the bounce? It's brilliant. Looking for a ball on the inside. Lasanga. Fiji. Looking for a response as the Tenny Boa. Takes it 15 metres out from Tonga's line. Latani Valu. Here's the kick across. Batofa. How's the chase? Sande climbing. And the ball is still there. The referee says, though, it's come forward. Oh, just needed a break there, didn't they? Fiji. And a dangerous moment for Tonga after some smart play and a really smart, intelligent kick from Potofa to read that there was space in behind. He's got a flyer on the, on the wing of Ngata. And Ngata turned around. Sorry, Lasanga turned Ngata around from Tonga. Got the ball first. He thought he had, if he had got the ball and he had just one more step, he may have been able to get away. But a really smart kick from Potofa. 14 remain in this first half of the championship final. And it's the lone tries. Little Lazarus Ngata, smaller man on big men. Oh, there's a mistake out of dummy half. But they'll get possession. A reset for Tonga. Yeah, quite fortunate here, Fiji. You see this a lot when markers jump around. Referee can sometimes give the penalty away for not being square. Instead, knocking the ball down. Balone Kasa Kasa. Tonga get a chance to recompose themselves. Well, it goes again. Again, that word early in the set. Happy to free the pass. And uh, there's a penalty for Tonga. So they'll enjoy this. Easier Surely right out of the half. The fullback, Sioli Hifu, I think it was, trying to fly over the top. And put on a shot, but in doing so, made contact with the head. And Fiji, after spending so much time down their end, can't give Tonga these easy ways out. Fita plays it back and here come Tonga again to Vai Kivalu. This is better play. Slightly deeper for Tonga running on with real pace. Langalo strong. The ball's been snapped away though by Fiji. And off they go through Lasanga. Kelly Lasanga. Too much pace, brilliance! Outstanding, outstanding play from Fiji, Kelly Lasanga. Had to do it all himself. Had the big man from Tonga, Enoki Vayangalo, carrying the ball straight over. Thought he was going to try and bump Lasanga off. Lasanga thought better of it, took the one-on-one -on -one steal and had 80 metres to race down the other end of the field. 
to his credit, Waiangalo turned around and gave chase but just didn't have enough about him. Lasanga, what a wonderful try. First try for Fiji. They're back in it. Heck of an effort in the chase for Tonga, Waiangalo and Paya. But that was some brilliance. The presence of mind to st strip the ball away himself and then he set sail big time and had the ability to finish too. Length to the field for Kelly Lasanga and that is what they can do. Fiji strike back and a chance for Taniela Maiseri to add a couple of spares. How good is it to see a flyer in space? As soon as he got the ball and you could see he was open, you're just riding him home and you just love a foot race. Had some work to do, didn't he, really? Down the, uh, down the touch. Good chase in the end by Tonga. But it's Fiji who strike back in this championship final. And it's 6-4 to Tonga. And here we go. We see Maingalo. There's the steal. Then has the presence of mind to meet pa beat Palu, the fullback. They all try and give chase to Tonga, but Lasanga, too much about him, almost gets the ankle tap Vaingalo, such was his chase. But Lasanga. Back live here. And now the crowd have certainly come to life. Fiji's game too. Remember though, they had to score that from inside their half, just looking. Back into this first, certainly into the second, to get a bit of territory in the game. Nice Eddie. Again, just holding the ball and puts the defence in two minds with his carry, but they'll come down the right edge. Oh, big bump off. He's a big strong thing, Malcolm Favela. He's been really strong throughout the week on that right edge for Fiji. Nice Eddie. Puts his hand up, then puts the kick up, coming across. Chase will be interesting here, and had another sniff at it, Kelly Lasanga. Well, we've seen the tactical kicking of Tyson Hansen in this first half, and uh, you would have to say, Taniela Maiseri is starting to come into his own a bit, will he? And some real alarm bells for Lazarus Ngato and, and Palu, the fullback for Fiji, because they know there's a, there's a speedster out here. That's twice now they've tried to kick for Lasanga and any offering of open space. They're going to need no invita second invitation. Botofa or my city. I'll just put the ball behind and try and get Lasanga to chase. Well, he was uh, well taken care of there, Lazarus Nata. Fiji have really come to life after that try eight minutes to play it's Tonga by two in this final and again here he is he's been busy out on the left edge is uh, Felipe Pakauho another mistake though and a penalty the way of Tonga so it's a few in favor of the boys in red in this half he did the first thing right Serewalu the winger Backed his pace and showed Fakauho enough space, but Norma cut the ball, cut him down in the tackle, but then just had a little second bite, giving the penalty away. While I just chopped low by Troy Sande, the vice captain for Fiji. Good carry forward, Nathaniel Fafita, taking it up to the 30 for Tonga here in the set. And again, little inside ball this time to Michele. He's hammered, but gets the ball away in the tackle. Reset center field, 28 meters out from Fiji's line. Little dummy, show and go from Fafita. Paya, little kick coming. And behind, how's the chase and the bounce will be interesting too, but beats everybody. And Tonga understanding that Fiji have a flyer and Lasanga on this side, so we've got a flyer as well. 
Nats has got some toe. We'll put him in some space. Just overcooked the kick. But keeping them aware, keeping them on their toes. Oh, and the referees. Looks like he said Lasanga took the ball dead. And that's a win for Tonga. Might need another look at that. That's a Fiji. And my city sends a towering kick. Looking for the fortuitous bounds, Fiji. As Jack Fever's say. This has come forward. And they're ways. very, they're very, very lucky here, Tonga. From any kickoff, we've seen it a couple of times today in games. Kickoffs, dropouts, you've got to catch the ball on the full. The rugby ball, the rugby league ball is such a shape that it can go anywhere if you let it bounce, and that was the case. Fiji could easily have had the ball there. In Tonga, they had more than enough players around it. Bangalore needed to be the one who called the ball and, and catch it safely rather than let it bounce. Again, Sande goes low. Be careful here. I've conceded a few penalties already in this first half. As uh, he gets another ball away. Fakuho. He's been looking for it all game. And there's a few now for him after the early mistake to start the match. Moore spins it away. First receiver this time for Fita, shifting it across. And Tuvai Gavalu plays it back. We're going to stretch them. Down the left edge here. Good spot defence coming in. Aisiruwalu. Trying to cut straight through them. Excellent run, Palu, but equally. Defence superb, Fiji. Just on the line. Now die with the ball. So, Fiji. Credit there. And you could see what Stephen Waller was thinking. He was just slow in his process. He was reading whether the space was on the left to take the dart. And just went for it a couple of seconds too slow. Had he picked it up and gone for it straight away, he may have got himself there. But the time it took for him to think to go do it, Fiji were able to adjust. Work to do off of their line here. Fiji has rounds. Carts it forward. My city. Oh, difficult pass along the ground. Good take in the end, though. As uh, Hangamoto does well to tidy it up. Early in the set. And some crunching defence. Baya for Tonga. Tini Bua. Here's the kick, My city. Turning the backfield of Tonga around. And when Ringamutu got tackled, Tonga were very, very lucky that Ringamutu decided to run. He had three players outside him that he could have passed to. And had he done so, Tonga would have been in real danger. And Minisiate Tsuruwalu, excellent chase to force the tackle. Tonga up to the 40 and it's trying to scoot out a dummy half as Lazarus Nata. Rain, the tap has stopped for the time being in the heavens above. Still difficult conditions. Had some good skills on display here in this championship final. Here he is again. This time My City takes care of Fakuuho. Kick will come. Hansen. Difficult. Well timed kick. It was a beautiful kick in the end. But it's just flowing off Vaka. He pulled out of it. He fought. He watch him here. Felt the pressure and then just pulled out of it. It's come off the head of Vaka. He's, that's a Falcon. First Falcon I think we've seen all week. Solomon Vaka can claim that. Solomon Vaka just had eyes on here for. Unfortunately for Hifu, he didn't carry the ball. It could have been lights out time had he done. He'd relish these conditions, surely, Willie. 25 years up in the north. Leeds Rhinos, Wakefield Trinity coach. You've seen it all. Be used to these? Never got used to the cold. <laughs> and 
I was in uh, I was in the UK for 25 years because Super League's played in the summer. <laughs> Good conditions. Well, for three months. Yeah, the drainage is pretty good here too at Pukakoi, and uh, we're pleased that uh, the pitch has survived over the course of the last five days. Been pretty good conditions. 100% to say that by the end of today, this would have had 30 games on it. It's held up really well. The ground staff have done a great job. My city. You just feel he's got a couple of cards in his back pocket still to play in this final. By two, Tonga, in the final minute of the half. It's been an absorbing contest. Last tackle for Fiji. Uh, just a play of the ball. You can hear the fans for the Fijians in front of us just screaming out to complete the set, complete the set. That's all they've got to do. And that'll be a big part of their discussion at halftime. That is halftime in the final, the championship final here at the Pacifica Youth Cup. A try apiece. But it is Tonga with their noses in front. 6-4 over Fiji here at Pukakohe. understand that our customer needs their plant and equipment up, running and available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Using only world class product from the likes of Bridgestone and Yokohama, there is no compromise for your valuable machines. Our attention to detail and precision is second to none. It's this customer experience that separates Pertec from the pack. Pertec will keep you operating. There's certainly a party atmosphere here. The crowd are enjoying some good quality rugby league and tough conditions. The hardy souls have turned up and uh, we're here to watch this first final of the afternoon. Men's Championship final, Tonga development with a six points to four lead over Fiji. And uh, after some good carries early by some of their big forwards, this was the first try, Solomon Waka. And the weight of possession was just too much for VG. Had to do a lot of work coming out of their own end. Solomon Ivaka, busy in his stint on the field, got himself nice and low. Could see the trial line was there. And then Fiji, their opportunity came when Waingalo, the centre for, for Tonga, tried to take on Lasanga. Lasanga too smart with the one-on-one -on -one steal. And shown the cleanest pair of heels on the field. To his credit, Waingalo. Gave chase, and just got an ankle tap, but wasn't enough. After losing the ball, Waingalo giving, giving chase, but Lasanga too quick. And that moment lit up the crowd. And we've seen some smart kicking from Hansen for Tonga. And he for just pulling out at the last second. And well, well, he crashed over there, didn't he, for the first try, Waka, but that time he, uh, he copped a falcon for his troubles. The first one we've seen over the course of the week. That was a beauty, too. You watch him here, he's got no eyes on the ball. Everything's on, on Hifo. 
and had he caught it, it would have been lights out for he for fortunately. But we get the Falcon and we get one for the highlight reel. Try a piece of Falcon and Tonga with a two point lead. Plenty of uh, rugby league to look forward to this afternoon here on Sky Sport. The uh, women's final and the premiership final to follow here at Pukakoi. Certainly this would not be possible, this wonderful event, without the dedication and the hard work of the Pacifica Aotearoa Collective New Zealand Māori Rugby League and uh, the member organisations who come together to give an opportunity to the rangatahi and our talented players from Aotearoa and the Pacific to come here and shine in front of their family, their whānau, their friends and have been doing them proud all week and we don't have a game do we Willie without the support, the volunteers and that's what it's all about in these conditions over the long weekend, turning up and supporting these young players. Very much so. And we've been, it's Sunday today, we've been going since Wednesday. And a lot of people have sacrificed a lot of time, given up time from work to be here and deliver this festival that we've experienced over the last couple of days. And as you say, I'm grateful to everybody that's played a part and, and put this on, parents included. to those who have officiated Jack Fevers, our referee this afternoon, blows the second half underway in the championship final. Fiji, again through rounds edging towards halfway for a settled start to the second half. My city from just outside of the 40. Not a bad kick. How's the bounce? Is it going to hold up? It's just going to trickle too far. That's on the line there, is it? Unlucky, my city. If he could have his time again, I'd suggest to him to take the space he was 10 meters away from the defensive line and plenty of time for him to take a couple more steps and assess a better kick which may have been to put it in the air and allow his speedster and it's Walu on this side to go and get some pressure on Tonga instead it's gone dead they get seven tackles and they get a fresh set offside Fiji I like the way that uh, Felipe Fakuho has played. He's always had that ability to get around the first defender. He's looked for an offload on each occasion. And they've not been shy to go that side. They've not, they've not been shy to, to use them use them up. And he's found some space. Here he is with the ball. Yet Tong is set underway. Gutter. Out of dummy half. Trying to step her his, his way around. Can't get through. Fiji's full back here for. Tonga, little short ball. Back on the inside for Fita. To Oleka. He's driven back. First receiver again. And just looking for a second man option. It's gone down. Just as uh, Kelly Lasanga. I was thinking, hey, maybe I get another crack. And he's come a long way to shut that down. And he's gone all in on the play. Had Tonga just been able to beat him and get the ball to the outside. And there could have been some joy there for Vaingalo and Ngata. We've already seen him go the distance once today, Lasanga. They can start to think about him trying to fly out of the line now and may have to just kick him behind to keep him and stop him from shooting. So 
know, some fresh legs going on. Form of uh, Sefa Tuna Yal. What a player to be able to bring off your bench, your vice captain. Had a good break, including half time. Yusefa Tuna Yal been very, very good for Fiji in this tournament. Charlie Ringamoto taking his seat. Just a wee bit of the air has been sucked out of this final as uh, they try and settle into things here in the second half. Tonga through Vaingalo right in front of Fiji's posts as they search for a second try. Oh, Lika. Again, are well aware of his power this close to the try line. More Tonga through Ambrose Polono. Good defence, Fiji driving the player back to the 10. Moore, JD Moore had a dummy half looking to spark something for them. The ball is kept alive. And with the ball, Tonga will get another set here. And more pressure on this line here for Fiji. Draining their energy. You can see there's a couple of people couple of players on their hands and hips. They had to try and take advantage of, try and speed up the game a little bit here. As you said, there's been a bit of a lull with these stoppages. Tonga's advantage would be to try and speed it up and get restarts going again, rather than let the defensive team have a spell. Moala drops off the short ball. This time he's trying to crash through. Oh, Lika. Door remains locked on Fiji's line. With some of these short passes and angled runs back. Been very good. Again, Waka, the try scorer for Tonga. Now perhaps a little bit of a space out right. But he'll run the angle back. Polono again. Fiji holding out for the time being. And more pressure coming. And that's one of those I said at the earlier in the game when the marker comes around and interferes with the dummy half. They can ill afford to keep giving these penalties away, Fiji. Leka, this time he gets the ball away. Sapaya. It's taken down by Potolfa. Looking for a quick play of the ball. Fakita. Standing in the tackle. Moa shifting it away again. Oleka. Sione Oleka. How many carries is that to the line? Not through yet, but maybe this time, Tonga, Hansen. Way again, this time they'll score, and guess who? Number two for Solomon Avaka. And a great try, great build up. They did so well, Fiji, to hold him out for the majority of those three sets. It's just that one play, you see how far Avaka comes from. No stopping the big fella. Identical to the first one that he scored in the first half. Smashing onto the ball, getting nice and low. And that's number two for the front rower. A great try for Tonga. Great persistence. Great pressure. Great reward. Well, Sione Oleka, he tried to break down the door. Ambrose Polono tried to break it down. And then in the end, Ola Moravaka just said, hey, give me the ball. I want number two. And he takes it out to a 10 points to four lead. Kick to come here. Voila, just off the woodwork. And almost identical to the first half. All the pressure's been down here. We're eight minutes into the half, and a lot of that's been down here, and the pressure on the goal line. They've had plenty of goal line pra practice here, defending their end. Have Fiji. Such has been the dominance of, uh, of the Tongan carriers. Rewarded for quick plays and getting penalties. 
But as we saw in the first half, Fiji can just turn it on the dime. My city. Six points the difference to decide the championship here. And then the Pacifica Youth Cup. Polono. Direct as always. Now for Fita. A little bit of service. Ball back for Aleka. Just to get his hands on it as much as he can. He's looked good at first receiver. Nathaniel for Fita. They drive him down. Try to at least. Just shy of the halfway line here for Tonga. Hansen gets the ball off and Myla thinks about freeing the pass. That's a loose ball and there's a penalty to a hand in there from Fiji. I can see JD Moore getting some joy here soon. Tonga, the hooker for Tonga. Tonga just punching through the middle. Able to get some quick play. The ball's tiring up the middle third of the Fiji inside. Frustration for Fiji. Hand in the ruck. Concede another penalty. We talk about moments and finals, Willie Poaching, and this is where you can ill afford to lose concentration and let Tonga go back to back. Well, they're losing some discipline. They can't lose that concentration on top of it. Waiting again for Pita. Trying to work his magic. Had a player, a couple running the line. Back on the inside is one of them, Polono. Still on his feet. Ambrose Polono. Now for Fita, smashed. Sat down, good defense. Polono once more. Little dummy goes himself. Slams it down. And there it is, the third try for Tonga. He's asked questions all day. And now Ambrose Polono gets his name on the score sheet. Again, just persisting with playing through the middle. They did it in the yardage set. They tired out the middle defenders from the Fijians. Not able to get up off the line. Tackle selection would have been important, especially on a big man. Can't go low. He just falls over the line. Polono. That's three for the front rowers. The wingers will be asking some questions. It's a front row party at Navigation Home Stadium. Party in the stands too. Tongan fans loving this. And uh, with a tick under 19 to play in this final, out to 16 points to four. And a dominant 12 minutes from Tonga to start this half. Fantastic execution of their game plan. Smart use in these conditions. Certainly have the ability to come back, Fiji. It's tough when the big fellas like Vaka and Polono are in the mood they're in like that. Rampaging again, Ambrose Polono. Now there's a carry coming and cut down. Malakai Javier. But some real meters starting to be eaten up now at the center of the park for Tonga. And just that, they're happy to turn the ball back inside. They know where they're getting the joy. They know where Fiji is starting to fall away. Last tackle, and they're up to just shy of the 30 here, Tonga. Excellent set for them as the kick will come fire. Work to do in the backfield. At Fiji, now through my city, just hasn't had the field position to work with. In Fiji just need volunteers here. We need some bigger bodies to get in. Nice work by Lasanga. Fiji's lone try scorer, Kelly Lasanga. Against the run of play in the first half. 
And this is what happens, Tonga attacking down the middle part of the field and tiring out the big fellas from Fiji. So when it comes to them carrying, they've got no energy to carry and they've got to rely on these smaller fellas, which for Tonga, a lot easier to deal with. Well, as easy as Tonga's last set was to carry upfield, this is how tough it's been for Fiji to get any real territory in the game. It's, it's easily read the bounce by Paya. Himanato Paya. And Tonga again, this time through. Nagi Kuli. Straight up the center. Tonga through Palu. Brilliant break. Now they look for a quick play of the ball. Fafita gets it away again. Polono. This time the big man is to ground. Wild pass out the back door. And in the end, it's the fullback who'll clean up. Manaki Palu. Out to the right edge this time. Once more looking for a third Vaka. And that'll be a turnover. And that's fine. I thought Polono was going to get his second. vaka has got two. Want to get himself two. Add to the front row party. Not to be, but Tonga will be real happy with this. They understand that Fiji are low on energy. The sun is on the ground. Looking to see in the near R. And that's the pressure. That's what fatigue does. And Tonga are all over Fiji at the moment. Simple play of the ball, a bit of a stoppage in play. You've got to get your concentration right. Vinitabua just takes his eyes off the ball. Concentrate there, fatigue. Hurting. One more here for Tonga development, and you feel it's a long road back. For Fiji, yes, they do score. And Oki Vangalo, fourth try for Tonga. And perhaps now maybe more than just one hand on this championship trophy. He's been strong. He spoke about his centre partner, of Fakauho, on the left-hand side. But any time he's been called upon, and it was unfortunate he had his pockets picked. Oh, dear. Very close. Very lucky. <laughs> There's no video replay. No bunker here. But he did the hard work to get himself through and get the backs a try on this day for Tonga. When it's all been about the front row of scoring. And Noki Vaingalo gets one for the backs. And a fourth for Tonga. They've played the conditions well. Have Tonga. And that is uh, part of the reason. They find themselves out to 20 points to four. Front row is doing the work. Getting the credit on the score sheet. Rose Polono the try, a couple to Solomon Avaka and now the centre and Oki Vangalo who's on. The kick goes through. Stephen Moila. That's another. And uh, under 13 to play. That's a 22 points to four here in the final. And this is the final of the championship division of the PYC. And this team want to be called Tonga Championship. They were called coming into this Tonga development. And Tonga de they're called Tonga development because that's what they are. It's the development squad. They're all young fellas who are going to be the future of this tournament for Tonga. And seeing them play here, the future's in good hands for Tonga. At all levels of the game, as I said, he when you can keep someone of his ability quiet, you're having a pretty good day as Tonga. The sun, I think, starting to break through, or trying to at least. Poluno. Yeah, just flying onto the ball. They've made some great yardage, haven't they, in their sets. Upfield again. And just like that, markers can't get set. Defenders can't get back to the line. Can't get any line speed. 
And Tonga just able to advance the ball up the field at almost at will. Up it to Polono. It's taken down by rounds. Last tackle for Tonga. What have they got up their sleeve here by a players chasing through and a good effort in the end. Lasanga. Kelly Lasanga. Ball back in field. Jack Fever says it's come forward. I think he's going for the head yeah. high on the chase. It was a Vainalu. Again, almost like Vaka in the first half and had all eyes on Lasanga. Just stepped as he caught it. And putting Vainalu off balance and stray hand going too high. And a bit of distance on the kick. And just see Fiji in the background, really slow to the ball. The energy's really, really low for them. Lenny Kasakasa trying to drive him over to the left edge. Touch. Conversely, you see Tonga in their stance on the try on the on the defensive line, all getting out, getting line speed. That defense has been sound. Is another high one though. He's caught it too. Getting the call, Jack Fevers. It's been that ability of Tonga today in this final to get through the first defender on the carry, quick play of the ball, march up field, Fiji have just been met with some stout Tongan defence. They can score 22 points, but that's been pretty impressive, the defensive side of things too, Willie Poaching for Tonga. And defensively, oh! if you can win the first tackle or two, it takes you a long way to winning the set. Conversely, if you lose the first one or two, it's hard to get it back. It's hard to get that momentum back, and that's, that's the case for Fiji. They're losing the first and second, as you're saying, and Tonga are just rolling through them from then on. Lenny Kasa, Kasa has worked hard, gets a ball away in contact. Oh, Nathani Valu is slipping on the greasy surface. Trying to bust through. Aloha Fiti. Ball out the back, Lasanga. Trying to spark something for them. Rounds is hit hard. Fifth and final for Fiji. Oh, to Vaikavalu with the big shot. And there's a big shot too. He just took a look and he saw a flying Felipe Vakuhuo coming forward. And such as their control and their energy, they're able to throw themselves into their defensive work now. Tonga, as I said... Otavai Kavalu with the first one. And then Fakauho with the next one, forcing the error and frustrating the Fijians even more. Moala getting through the first defender, still on his feet. Real power from Stephen Moala. And the service has been good again. Tyson Hansen must be loving this and all. Eyes on it, my city, and contact on the ground. He caught one there, D'Angelo Michele. So he's back on his feet, and Tonga back right where they want to be. And chance in their arm, they've got more chases to the ball again. Tyson Hansen kicked really smartly and well today. Oh, and a shot to the head. And the referee looked like he gave it for offside, but more like the shot to the head was the penalty. Tonga see if they can score another one and see which front row is putting up their hand. Michele driven down on the 20. JD Moore getting the ball away again and the tackle for Michele. Rafita Polono Cutting back once more, trying to reach. And just short of the Razine as they come away right. Fafita! 
gets the ball away and Payer's gonna score. It looked for a moment that Polona was gonna get a second as he spun out of the tackle. But he, as you said, held short and couldn't get any closer to the try line. JD Moore shifts the ball out. Kenny Manatupaya with the try. And Tonga surely now have their hands on the championship trophy. PYC 2024. Again, he has done some outstanding work today. Ambrose, Polono, all of the big boys for Tonga. And uh, on that occasion, all it needed was a quick ball off of the deck, which they got good service, JD Moore. This is close. Tonga's performance this afternoon is close to the best performance I've seen from a team. The most discipline, the most professional execution of their plan. You can do that when you get joy from it, but they stuck with it from start to finish. They got some joy with their kicking game through Tyson Hansen early doors, forcing Lasanga into errors. Sorry, said Walu, but they've stuck with it. They haven't deviated at all. It's been some real balance to Tonga's game, some great balance there in the stands too. They've been dancing all half as Tonga have just taken this final by the scruff of the neck. They had plenty of plays stacked left edge and in the end, just some great footwork, recognizing the gap. And once he was through the first week's shoulder, there was nothing they could do. Get him enough to pay up for Tonga. And whilst I'm talking about Tonga having a day and having probably the best performance of the tournament. It's been one to one to forget for Fiji. Uh, they've been very, very good, and this isn't a the disappointing thing for them. Will be this isn't a display of them. This isn't them. This isn't the Fiji we've seen throughout this tournament. And it's always disappointing when you do that on the final stage. They'll still keep coming. They'll still keep knocking on the door. Fiji they played with some real pride and talent over the course of the week but they've just come up against a tenacious well coached Tonga side who have executed to perfection here in a final big wide ball across and Fiji might have an opportunity Naevo he's big he's strong and the ball loose he's frustrated too he knows he, Naevo just hasn't been their day that ball stolen out, it's still time. It's still a chance for them to get another try. They scored a try against the run of play. They get a chance to score a try that's constructed and put together through their attack. Mathani Valu. Look for the short ball. Flying onto it was uh, Archibald. And they'll get another set. Yeah, you'd think so. He hasn't pointed which way. Looks like it's going to be Fiji's ball. Yeah, just a stray one going to ground. Tonga trying to dive on it. They couldn't control. You wouldn't like to think Tonga's shut shop, but whilst they've got hands on the trophy, you've got to understand that Fiji is still on attack. And Naevo, the big man, straight off the scrum. Go away to the left as Avella tries to fend and just stride his way through Tonga's defence. And he kasa kasa. Has worked hard all day. Once more, Hughes. Shut down just right of Tonga's post here. Little snipe out of dummy half. Ball down, is it? Yeah, I think it is too. And a strong way to finish for Fiji. Mark rounds out of dummy half. Opportunistic. 
They put Naeva on the right side, fooled me, thought they were going to go to the big man off, off the scrum. He was a decoy, and they ended up going to the short side, coming back, putting the pressure on in their attack, gets a try. They got attack, got a try through their D, and now they get a try through their D, through their attack. And as you said, Fiji, we're never going to die out of it. They're stuck with it. And fighting all the way through to the end. A lot of these players, of course, will be back at PYC, the next edition of it. A taste here for many of them of uh, finals footy. As you say, for Tonga development, their program and good health. And for some, this is the highest level they've attained. This is the highest level they've played. So they're all going to go away from this better for it for this competition. Uh, they'll be better, as you say, in the next tournament. These younger ones who are eligible to be play it, to be selected again, they're going to be great for their countries, great for this tournament, but they'll all walk away better for, the, for their participation in this, in this competition. Final half a minute of this championship final. Is there one last bit of magic from both of these teams? I'm just going to say before we blow the final whistle that as good as their attack has been, Tonga, and it's been fantastic, their D's been outstanding as well. They've kept Maiseri out of the game, Tui Nayao, they've kept them quiet, the danger meant for Fiji. And that's a real credit to Tonga and how good they've been. There it is for Tonga. They're celebrating in the stands. A superb performance here to win the championship final at the Pacifica Youth Cup for 2024. Comprehensive in the end. They beat Fiji by 28 points to eight here at Pukekohe.